Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. I'm here to do part two of this video of decorating up this um, shovel now that I did in my last video. And if you missed that, I will link that video below in case you want to check that out. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff out here. I've changed my mind probably a hundred times of what I'm going to do with this, but I think I have it. And the one thing I think I'm going to do different next time is I'm going to paint this piece up here. I want it to be kind of like wood looking, but I think it would have looked better if I would have painted it the black with the silver on there. But anyway, that'll be for the next one because I plan on doing some more of these for different times of the years, holidays, whatever. For the fall, I think it would be a really cute project too. But anyway, I'm going to use one of these flowers. Now you can get these at Dollar Tree. They come on a really long stake. And what I did was I just kind of measured it and I'm going to put this right on here like so. I'm going to attach that right here. And I'll get a better shot of this when it's all finished. And I'll, I'll hang it up and stuff so you can see it. But um, this had a long stake on it. And all I did, I think it was like four times I had to bend it back and forth. And it came right apart. So I thought this would be great because it has a little loop here that I can wire it on here. And I don't have to worry about it coming off. I'm going to put some a little bit of moss down here on this shovel. And I'm going to put some of these ferns behind it. Um, I picked these up at Dollar Tree, I don't know, it was last week or the week before. Um, they're really nice, and it's just, you know, they're just called fern. So I cut some of them off, probably about halfway, that I'm going to attach on the back of the shovel to stick up. And I want to put a few little flowers, and I think I may have a few of these little wildflowers sticking up off the back, too. So we're going to see as we go along here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to put on my little hanger. To how I'm going to hang this up. So I'm going to hang this up. If you don't want to hang it up, you could always just prop it up on something or whatever, stand it up, or maybe attach a little piece of wood or something on the back to put it down on the ground would be pretty cool too. But this one I'm going to hang. So I took a piece of um, floral wire. You can get that at Dollar Tree too. It's just floral wire. They have all different colors of floral wire. And I just doubled it. It's probably about, I don't know, eight or nine inches long. And I am just going to put this right up here underneath this little groove here will hold it nicely for me um, and I'm just going to put that around there and I'm just going to give it a good twist here hopefully I can get that on there nice and tight and then I'm just going to take it and wrap some of this around here like this on the back wrap the ends under And I think, and that's good, you won't see it from the front. I think that's a nice little, I might have to twist it a couple more times because I think I'm still going to be able to see it. Hang on here. There we go. So that'll be how I'm going to hang this up. And you won't see that because we're going to have this pretty flower over top of it. I love these big flowers. I was going to try to do some other kind of flowers on here too. I just wasn't too sure they would hold on too good outside in the weather. But I'm hoping this will, I'm going to, it's going to be under a covered porch, but still, you know. So, I took another piece of this floral wire and doubled it just to make sure it's nice and strong. And then there's the wire goes all the way up on the back of these flowers, so you can just hook that in there. I'm just going to give that a, one little twist here just to keep it in place for me. And then... This fit just nice down on this little lip here, which I'm going to cover that end there with a little bit of this jute string. So I'm going to take this here, this flower, and we're just going to wire this on. You could drill a hole through here if you wanted to. I really didn't want to drill through it because I know not everybody has a drill or wants to drill through it. But that would be another idea too if you want to just... Um, drill a hole through the handle of this because they're just plastic and it's pretty easy to drill through. So there. So that's going to hold that there. And then I figured down here on the bottom, make sure I'm probably going to have to put a little glue back here too to keep this where I want it exactly. But it may hold with the um, jute string that I'm going to wrap around this part. So I'm just going to start on the back here with this little piece of jute string. And add a little bit of glue here to get this started. And then I'm just going to wrap it. And this stuff will stick to itself really well if you just want to add a little bit of glue here and there. 
and that will cover the end of that um, flower that's sticking down. And it'll also give it a little extra hold there, too, so it's not going to move on you. But I'm going to try to do most of the glue towards the back of it, so you don't really see it. And you can get this jute string. They have this at Dollar Tree, too. That's where I got this from. It's one of these little balls of jute string that they have. And maybe one or two more times here. But this is just a little fun thing. You can decorate these however you like. Um, if you don't like this style, you know, that you can always do it a different way. Let's see, where are my scissors? Let me cut this end off here and make sure it's glued down good. I'm just going to put a little more glue there to hold that. So there, I think that looks cute on there already. And I really don't think that's going to move too much, so I think that will work out just fine. Now for down here, I'm going to put these ferns on the back. I'm going to glue them on back here on the back of the shovel so they're just kind of peeking out here and there. And. Um, That'll work just fine. This hot glue works pretty good, especially when you're gluing plastic to plastic. <clears throat> so I'll put one there. Let's see. I think I have four of them here that I wanted to use. I need to get my finger protector here before I burn myself. There we go. That's better. But these should hold pretty good since it's all plastic we're working with here. And then I want a couple more to stick up. Uh, let's see. That one will probably go better this way. I'm just going to glue those down onto the other one. Like I said, if you don't like the ferns, you can always do something else. Um, some little grasses things would look nice too, but I really didn't have anything that would hold up. I have some of that grass stuff from Dollar Tree, but it's not the sturdiest. Alright, so I think that'll be good if I glue that one right on top of here. Put a lot of glue there to hold it. Waiting for that to cool down just a little bit here, guys, so I can flip it back over without them coming off. All right, so then that is how that will look down here on the bottom. Just some little ferns sticking up. Now I'm going to put a little bit of moss right on the top. There's a little um, ledge there on the top of the shovel, and I'm going to put just a little bit of moss on there because I want to add this little bird, and thank goodness I got this in some friend mail yesterday. I was so happy because I thought I had some little birds somewhere, and I did not, and this one is going to be perfect, and it's going to sit right on a little bit of moss down here. So I just took some of this moss. It's just, um, you can get this a Dollar Tree too. It's just the Spanish moss. I thought this would look better than the, the green moss, and I just kind of rolled it between my fingers a little bit just to make it into a little piece here. And I'm just going to put that right here. I don't want it to stick up though. Let me pull some of that off. We're just going to glue that right on here on the bottom of this. Whoops! I have things sticking to my glue gun. Right here. Just want it right there on that edge. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit on the other side too. Another little bunch of this stuff. Just going to roll it up a little bit so it sticks together while I glue it. Why do I keep getting that thing stuck to my glue gun? There we go. I'll get that out of my way. That's what I need to do. Alright, so and that is just going to get glued right on to here. With a little bit of moss. 
You could use more or less, whatever. And then I wanted to add some, because I am going to have to, I think, secure this a little bit better because it wants to spin on me. I'm going to have to glue it up there. I could put a little E6000 behind that and let it sit. That'll hold that metal piece really good. Maybe what I'm going to do. But anyway, so far, that's what we got going on here. I don't like this black thing in the jute. Let me get that out of there. There. So, I'm not sure how I want these flowers. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do. Now, there's a little, like, a hole back here that behind the shovel. But I think that'll look cute just hanging there. Just, I don't want too many. And I was going to leave, they have like, um, there's a bunch of them. It has like all this green stuff on it too. You could use that if you wanted to. But it was just like too much. So I'm just going to use the flower part. And I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to put that back down in there. Alright. Well, that's not holding as well as I thought, so we're going to have to wire that on a little bit more and maybe some glue. I really thought it would just stay put, but it's not going to. Alright, so I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue back down in there and then just stick these flowers right down in that glue. And that should hold that just fine. And then I think I may want, I don't know, I want to see with my little birdie here, because my little birdie's going to sit on this moss right here, peeking out, and it may want some flowers behind it. I might have to take a few of these off. Let me see. Let's try it out first. Now oh, that'll work perfectly. Alright, I'm going to glue that right where I just sat it in there. Just put a little bit of glue back here to hold it onto the back of the shovel. Let me glue that flower in. Hang on, sorry guys, I had to pull this up here so I could see down in this hole. It's just a little hole. You'll see it when you're working on it that you can put that right into. And hopefully that's going to stay. There, I think that'll be pretty. And then our little birdie is going to sit right here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and some across the bottom. So it should be anchored right to the shovel. And our little tail showing too, so there we go. I was so happy that I got these. I swear I had some more of these little birds. You can get these like at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree too, if you're lucky. But all I had was cardinals from Dollar Tree, and I really didn't want a cardinal. I want to save that one for winter. All right, I got to figure out how to get this thing to stay where I want it because that is just not doing it. All right, let's see. Let me get that back down in here. Trial and error here, guys. So I think if I put just another wire up underneath the bottom side of this, that's going to work. So let me go ahead and do that real quick here. Just going to get rid of that thing. Just going to take another piece of this floral wire and work that right up underneath this flower. There we go. And I think that will do it. Let me get it in position again here. I keep moving it. Sorry guys, I pulled it out from my jute, that's why I'm trying to get it back in here. But I may just actually stick some hot glue down in there under that jute. And that may hold it a little better. Alright, and I'm going to take this wire, if I don't move this thing again, and wire that right onto here. Give it a nice tug. Hopefully that will do it. 
I am determined to get this flower on here because I really like it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. That holds it just fine. Now it's not moving anywhere. All right, so I think that is... Oh, I may have to fix my jute here a little bit because I messed that up. But yeah, you definitely need to double wire that. One towards the top of it and one towards the bottom of the flower. And that seems to hold it in place pretty good. All right. So that is all I'm going to put on this little baby. I think that is plenty. Maybe too much for some people. But um, I really like it. And if, I may add another little white flower in here. I don't know. Let's see. Before I change my mind here. I have some of these hydrangeas. I was going to use those, but no, that's just going to be too much. We're going to leave this alone. I think that is just fine the way it is. So let me hang this up, guys, and I will get a nice shot of it so you can see the whole thing, because I don't have a lot of room here to show you what I did. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, there it is all done. I love it. I love that big flower. That may not be for everybody, but <laughs> I just love that big flower. Um, they have them all different colors, too, at Dollar Tree. So let me get over here, show you guys a little closer the whole thing here but yeah I am very happy the way this turned out like I said so many different possibilities you could do and decorate however you want to for different seasons or whatever um, but yeah that was my little project I wanted to get up here and get this finished today and I will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone